Hello, everybody, and welcome to your, I think, 27th LEGO 5 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning on how to, uh, learning on different bitmap effects. Okay, so the first effect is we're going to be learning on how to rotate sprites or bitmaps. Uh, so at the top of our code or anywhere you want, uh, we're going to make a float variable called degrees. And uh, we're going to set that to 0, 0.0. Uh, you can set it to integer or float, doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, so after this code right here in the update, what we're going to do is, when oh, this code is taken from the uh, collision tutorial, but we don't really need the collision code. Uh, so you could take the code from the spread animation tutorial if you want. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so right here, we're going to check uh, to for two key presses. So if they press the W key, uh, then we're gonna increase. We're gonna increment degrees by one, and we have an else if. And if they press the S button, uh, then we're gonna increment degrees by one. Okay. So if we go, so uh, with. In our sprite animation tutorial, uh, we cropped out certain images, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, th that's that's really good. But when we're do when we're rotating a sprite, we can't uh, rotate a sprite and crop out an image at the same time. That that function is not in there. So one of the bitmap effects that we're going to be learning is uh, we're going to in a draw function, we're going to make a sub bitmap. And it's going to be equal to AL underscore create sub bitmap. And what a sub bitmap is, is that you put in a name of a bitmap that you want to uh, create a sub of or like a, get a region of. And then you take that picture and you make another bitmap uh, from a smaller one. So this is the parent bitmap that we're getting from. And basically we're creating a sub bitmap or a smaller portion of the bitmap and we're storing it into our new variable. Uh, so, uh, just like we did uh, AL drop bitmap region, we're just gonna set player our our X. Sorry, our X is gonna be our source X, and our Y is gonna be our source Y uh, times thirty two, and our width and height is gonna be thirty two by thirty two. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say AL draw row bitmap okay so this time we're just going to draw the sub bitmap and then for the c x and c y that's for the center x and center y so th that's where it's gonna the point that it's going to be rotating around right so if you want to rotate around the center of the image uh since the image is 32 by 32 then half of the image is going to be 16 by 16 so that's the c y and the uh, c x and c y uh, for the x and y is the x and y coordinate and for the angles the angle takes in a radian degree right uh, uh, No radian measures right so to change degrees to radians we just do degrees times pi divided by uh, divided by 180 so we'll just do 3.1.1415 divided by 180 and for the flags we'll put no so if we run this program right here Uh, if we look at our player, we can rotate our, our player in any direction we need to, right? Uh, you might notice that sometimes it might come out a bit grainy when you're moving it. Uh, but that's just because it, it could be because of the picture's quality, etc., etc. So you might want to improve the quality if that happens. Now, one thing that we want to note is that we know that there's 350, 300, sorry, 60 degrees in a circle, right? Uh, so we know that flow, like um, different integer types have a limit, right? And if we uh, say we, the person kept on rotating it over and over and over again, eventually the degrees would reach the, the limit. So to avoid that, what we say is that we will say that if degrees is, we'll say that if it's equal to uh, 360 or degrees is equal to negative 360, uh, then we'll set degrees equal to zero. So then that will just reset it so that it can only go from zero to three hundred and sixty, 
and therefore uh, we won't run into any problems okay uh, so that is for rotating sprites and that is one sprite effect okay so uh, the next spread effect is we're going to be learning about cloning bitmaps. So as we noted that uh, this, when we draw the two bitmaps, they're, they're from the same image, right? So since we want to use multiple images, instead of uh, loading, uh, well, they are different images. But say we want to load the same image. All we have to do is just say that player2 is equal to uh, AL clone bitmap. And then we put in the bitmap that we want to clone. And in this case, when we draw it, it's going to draw the clone bitmap to the screen. So it draws the exact same bitmap to the screen. Okay? So that is another spread effect. So we learned about three. We learned about creating sub bitmaps. We learned about cloning bitmaps. And we learned about rotating bitmaps. Okay, so after this, what we're going to be learning is about tinting bitmaps. Okay? So tinting bitmaps will take the, the basically the color from that, uh, uh, a color for that we specify and we will tint the bitmap to that color okay so if we look at this we'll say uh, AL draw tinted bitmap okay so we're gonna take the sub bitmap and we're going to take in a color AL map RGB and we'll tint it to a red color and the X and Y and we set the, this to null so if we draw, if we look at what we get when we run this program, uh, we see that it is a reddish color. Okay, so this would this is really really good, uh, especially like say you have a, uh, somebody attack the player right, and you want to show that the player got damaged. You could say that if they attack the player, the player turned red for like one or two seconds or whatever, indicating that the player got hit. Or, or something like that or if you just want to tint it for any reason then you can right so another another thing with tinting is that if we add an alpha channel to that uh, we can oh, say we tint it to like say 0 0.5 or something right uh, when we tint when we tint it we can set the transparency or whatever when we tint it and therefore uh, we, we can kind of like uh, we could set the image to be sort of transparent uh so if i was to draw this after so let me let me take this right here and draw it after the after the player after the enemy i mean so if you can see it's the image is transparent you could see through the image right we could see the transparent area right there because you could uh, you could see the un the underlying image over the the regular image. Uh, so with uh, with that we can we can change it. So if we want if we don't if we don't want any transparency, uh, then we can just set that to one. No, sorry, two. What am I talking about? I was thinking we were doing RGBA float. So if we didn't want any transparency, we want it to be uh opaque i think that's the thing that's an uh that's the word then you can't see through it and if you put a lower value then you could see through it even more okay uh so that is it for tinting bitmap so you can basically tint and set if you could see through it as well so last but not least we're going to be learning about scaling right and scaling is you can increase or decrease the size of it uh so for this we're going to uh, we, we'll just use the degrees at the scaling factor right now. It doesn't really matter. We, we're just going to know that the degrees is going to represent scaling right now. Uh, so lastly, we're going to take scale the bitmap. And what we're going to take is the sub bitmap. And uh, the, okay, okay. So so we, we have our sub bitmap. And then the next one, we take the source X and source Y and stuff like that so uh, since we already have our sub bitmap then we, we just set that to zero zero uh, the source width and height uh, that's just 32 by 32 since our image is 32 by 32 the x and y coordinate of the player x and y and for the width is the width and height we want the image to be so in this case we'll just put 32 uh, times degrees and we'll put 32 times degrees uh, so since the grease is zero, 32 times zero is zero, so we're not going to see the image once we start. 
uh, but once we press like W we're gonna see it zoom in and when we press S it's gonna zoom out okay uh, so yeah so if you notice uh, one last thing so before we end uh, just to just let you know like if we don't if we never created the sub bitmap right uh, to create that uh, then this is uh, like a drop bitmap region. So then with the source X and the source Y, etc., etc., uh, you could do that to crop a section of the image. So for example, if I if I set to 16 by 16 and uh, I set the width and height of that to 16 and 16, uh, then if we draw the image to the screen, we only draw half of the image, right? So it's just like a draw bitmap region, but in this case, you can scale it, make it larger or smaller, depending on what you need. So that is it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and bye.